Right, morning everybody, welcome back to NZ Micro Outlet Customs. So, on this video, um, I'm going to start doing the <coughs> first layer for the wood graining, <coughs> and then in, in other days I will add to this video. I'm going to try and do this as a separate video, but also pieces of this will be in the other videos as well. So, <coughs> So first off, we're going to spray this colour. It's a Vordothane, just um, two-pack. It's uh, that kind of colour. You can see the little bits of, if you want to pull the lid off, you'd have a look yesterday. So I've got a little bit of sanding to do and prep work, wipe down, clean down, whatever. And then I'll get this paint mixed up and we'll get these, the dash piece and the trims for the tops of the doors and the top of the piece of dash all with the under colour and then once this is dry in another day or two um, and I've made sure it's really hard then we will go to the wood stain and see if that works on a test piece I've got, a, I've got an extra piece um, that we're going to use for a test piece so I'm going to I'm just going to paint that in wood colour as well, and then when we go to do the wood stain, which is this, um, this is what apparently a lot of people use, they use wood stain, obviously probably not this exact stuff, but this is just what we can get here, um, <coughs> but we're going to try this for colour over top, see how it works, if we're happy with it, we'll carry on with the rest, um, if we're not happy with it, we'll get a different colour. This is, but yeah, so we've got the extra piece as a test piece. So, what happens when we've, if we're happy with this colour, we'll do them all. And then, when we go to do the automotive clear, which is also a two pack, we can test to make sure that this is not going to react with anything else. If it reacts, we know that we need to try and find something else, or maybe we need to just try a slightly different method of applying it. I'm thinking if we do a couple really light fog coats of for the clear, just a couple really light ones, so almost just misting on there to try and seal it up, so it hasn't got a lot of um, product going on to obviously wet that off and make it react. This is water based, so it should possibly be okay. It's not an oil based, so possibly should be okay against this paint um, I don't I'm not too worried about putting it over top of the color it's putting the clear over top of that um, so yeah that's probably a biggest concern um, I haven't done this before this is my first time doing wood graining but I think I've got watched enough videos to get a pretty good idea of how how it is to do it. I've got a quite a few brushes to have a play with so basically you liberally put that on from what I can work out so you just brush it on so it's quite thick on there and then get a couple of dry brushes and then start using them to drag that off if you know what I mean and pull the wood grain effect into it and there are only apart from the dash the, everything else is very skinny it's only I'll get the Everything else is only this big. So these are the trims for the tops of the doors on this old Judy Baker. So it's all wood grain, so that's the colour that's underneath. That's how we knew what colour it was. And it should look something, it's very hard to see because this has had some other paint painted over top at some stage, obviously because it looked a bit crappy, but we've got a rough idea what it looks should look like here. Um, We've got this red, red wood coloured stain, so it may be a bit red, I don't know, we can only try it, if we don't like the colour, we'll change it, but yeah, so basically, liberally put that on, and then come along with some dry brushes, and drag it out, and try and put a wood grain effect in, um, it's basically the idea of it, you know what I mean, and then, you let that dry for several days until it's really totally dry. 
if it's sticky or anything like that, you can't, apparently you can't put the clear on the top. It's got to be dead dry. So if you've got to leave it for five, six, seven days, leave it that long. So that's the plan anyway. I'll carry on, I'll get this mixed up and get these sanded down and then we'll come back to this. Righty guys, so I'm about to mix this paint for this, to do this wood graining. So, I just sprayed a little bit of um, fillers in there so I can get a wipe out. I'm running at a cup, so it doesn't matter if there's a little bit of something else mixed in here. This cup's pretty clean. I gave it a swirl out the other day. I just had some black in it. And to be honest, it doesn't really matter if there's a little bit of colour coming through from something else because it's going to be a wood grain effect, so I'm not too panicked about it. Um, until we get some more cups, I just want to, not that I need many more, but I'll just save me one. <laughs> To be honest, I'd actually like a smaller cup for doing this, but I don't think I'm going to need a lot. I'm just going to mix up enough to do the first. I would have probably liked a little bit less, but it'll give me the opportunity to get a few good coats on there. So if I do need to sand out any imperfections or anything like that, I can do it at this stage. You know, with a light wet back rub, um, which is probably what I'll do anyway, especially on the dash. That. Um, even though there is going to be a few different textures and whatever on this, um, if I can get a few layers and you can just give it a light rub back or say some part worn 600 or 800, um, just to try get a slightly better result when we do the rest of it, I will. So, look at that. Yeah, metal roller, roller stirrer stick that I just cleaned. <laughs> we'll give this a stir. Get all the shit off the bottom of it. This has only mixed the last couple of days, so it shouldn't be too bad, but it has had a few hours to seal. And a splash of juice.
Yeah, it's definitely gloss, so I'm gonna have to. I'm definitely gonna have to sand it when I freaking um, go to do the wood graining. It's no good to me gloss, but it's all right. It'll be fine. I'll just have to give it a wet sand with some 600 or something like that, just gently just to break the, the shiny surface so the wood stain will work on it, if you know what I mean. So it's got something to stick to. Um, whereas a, a matte or a flat finish would have been way better. It didn't need to be gloss, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't know why some people just can't think when they mix up shit and they see a, give you give them a sample like it wasn't glossy on the inside of that. No, if I, on the inside of the uh, sample. Sorry, I got the heater going, so that's noisy. It's a bit cool. So, like, yeah, that's not gloss on there, if you know what I mean. So, like, why would why would you give people gloss when you know that they're going to be putting other coatings over it? I don't really know, you know. It would make it so it was at least a dried flat or close to flat, but that's all right. It doesn't really matter. It just would have been nice to not have to screw around. Like, it, you know, and it, it probably would have need sanded anyway, but just need to wait a few more minutes just so this is it's almost dry. But not quite, you know what I mean. Just wait another five, ten minutes, I suppose, and then we'll flip it over and we'll start spraying the outside. So that's kind of where I'm at at the moment. Oh, sorry guys, it's like putting a bloody phone back on. So that's the first put a light double coat on this side. I could have done a light cast and then I did a comeback after I done these and done a, another light cast for the first one. So I'll let that dry off now and I'll come back and give them another couple and I'll just do that until I run out of paint unless I've got heaps left. I kind of don't have much choice. I should have had to mix what I had to mix. That's why I'd like a uh, digital set of scales, but We'll carry on and um, we'll come back and do a little bit more and I'll show you how I paint them. Still a bit in there, but I'm gonna go tip it out. There's plenty on there. Righty, so now that I'm finished spraying, I put my mask away. I always put the mask back in the box to come with. Um, and the reason why, I've got a video on it, and I might link it in this video, um, is these filters for two pack spray paints and stuff like that, because the hardener is freaking really bad for your lungs. What happens is it gets into your lungs and it hardens up and over time then you just basically can't breathe. So these filters um, have only got a certain spraying time or breathing time. About eight hours is all I've got. So when you're um, not using them, if you leave them out, um, basically they'll keep working and then after eight hours of being out of the box they'll um, basically stop filtering the, uh, the paint stuff and they will actually end up in your lungs slowly obviously um, still better than wearing nothing but you need to change these regularly so what I do is I keep the older ones the ones I've just changed every time I put a new set on I keep them for dirty work 
sorry, from doing sanding or something like that, or you know, from doing woodwork, especially on some of these older cars, I'll use it for that. But if there's like heaps of dust or shit like that, um, that's what I use the older ones for because it still stops the dust fine. You don't have to go buy an extra dust filter or anything like that. These are fine for ages with just dust, but the, to stop that, the shit that's in this freaking two pack paint. Um, and the water-based paint is even worse. It's worse for you. Um, it's actually fucking heaps worse. The two-pack paint's not as bad, but it's still not very fucking good for you. It'll, it'll screw you up in no time flat if you didn't wear a mask spraying two-pack paint. Um, even the old stuff's not good for you. You shouldn't be wearing a mask, but it doesn't harden in your lungs. <laughs> it's the same. Whereas that's a forced hardener, so it hardens all the tissues in your lungs. So yeah, always put your mask back in your thing and make sure you change those filters every sort of eight to ten hours maximum of spraying. Um, it doesn't matter which ones they are, they're all about the same, whether it's 3M or this Moldex brand or whatever, they're all about three hours, uh, sorry, about eight hours, eight to ten hours, you know, you're probably fine, you know, but don't push it any further than that and just use your old ones as dust masks when you're sanding and all that sort of shit. Um, they work perfectly for that, so that's what I've done for a long time. Um, and you just use the old ones for sanding and basically every time I change, I put a new fresh set on for my spraying, I use them for my new ones for sanding basically and I throw the other ones away. Just, you know, that keeps it reasonably fresh so they aren't really choked up full of dust, you know what I mean? So, yeah. So I'm going to get this gun to clean out now. So I'll use a little bit of this thinners for a start off because it's compatible with the paint. And then, um, and then once I've done that and I've got this gun reasonably clean, I'll switch out and just use a bit of general purpose. Righty people. So, um, I am so keen I want to throw this <laughs> because it's still the same day as I painted it. It's pretty late in the day now. Um, like it's, I know this isn't hard, but it's it's hard enough that I could probably just with a, give it a gentle wet sand and you know, at least see what this colour looks like on this and give it a wee, have a wee test play if you know what I mean. <laughs> I just can't help myself. <laughs> I want to see what it looks like um, just in case we have to get something else different. Um, just see if it, what it looks like and then I can show the owner to and you can decide whether it's what we want to do or not. So I'm just giving this a quick shake up and um, I'll turn the camera off so I'll give this a quick wet sand with about a 600 that I've got there. Just give it a gentle rub. Um, at least when it's wet it should be alright. It shouldn't go too, too clear. Righty. So I've given this a quick wet sand. Just enough to take the, okay, it should be more than that. I've done it just enough to take the shine off it, you know what I mean? If I, if when I do the proper pieces, I will definitely do it a bit more than that. And it obviously will be drier. You know, because I'll probably wet sand those tomorrow, depending on how, you know, how they feel. Um, little brushes here. So one will be just to, Put this stuff on it and then I've got some other ones, some different size ones, mainly to do the dash because it's a bigger area. Um, and I'll probably you just use them for the dry brushing. You know what I mean? Ooh, it's pretty red. <laughs> I reckon a darker colour might have been nicer. I reckon a darker colour might have been nicer. But we'll see. We'll see. We can always clean it off and go again with another colour. It's too fucking weird. But, but we'll see. No, not too bad. It's pretty runny.
just let it tack off for a minute. And if they were using oil based, I don't know. It's dark enough. If you know me. Hmm. Yeah, it's too rare, huh? It's, it's. I think it's gonna be funny. We we'll probably need to leave it to dry, but and then try and drag it out, but I think it's way too red. Put a little bit more on there. Just try and let it draw a little bit. I think it's way too red. It needs to be a darker stain. I think it needs to be way darker. It's just gonna look weird. It needs to be darker. I reckon. It's too light. Zoom me in a little bit here. I think it's too red. It needs to be something in between. Just a little bit darker, a little bit more chocolatey, I think. I don't know, just, I think it's too light. Too light. I think. I think the wood grain will be easy enough to do. Just a matter of playing with it when it's sort of starting to thicken up a little bit. But yeah, I I just I feel maybe just I don't know, just something a little little bit more browny, a bit more browny, not so red. But I just think so this is quite a light piece of wood. I'm just gonna find something a little bit darker to look at. <laughs> I don't know, I just envisioned something a little bit darker, but I suppose it's growing on me. Kind of growing on me. I just, I think it just something not quite so red would be nice though. Anyway, I'll just do that in. There's brush cleaning up. Maybe another layer over top, you know. We'll just, I guess we can see, eh? Hey, let that dry off and maybe. Put another coat over top and see if it darkens up. Just a matter of trying it, I guess, till we get an effect that we like. Um, not too bad. I think it's darkening up. So yeah, just be a matter of seeing what it looks like, I guess. Not that I really want to fucking sit up here, but. Maybe another coat over the top once this is dried for a day. Maybe put another one over the top and just see if it'll darken it up. Maybe richen it up a little bit. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, I think the extra layer does bring something else to it. Um, I might just take a photo of it and compare it to yesterday.
All right, hey guys. So, sorry about the noise here. We've got the bloody heater on again. It's, it's quite chilly, and it's if I'm going to be doing some of this, it's, I think it's a bit cold. But if I get a bit of temperature back in the, the uh, room, it'll be better. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet sand this back off, um, and I'm going to reply a little bit of this at one end, do half of it, and leave the other half clean. Um, and then we're gonna we're gonna go get a, 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 a more, more brownie coloured one. But I, what I want to do is I want to put that on by itself, and put the other brownie one at this other end and have a look at that. And but then I also want to put a brownie one over top of this just to get a feel for maybe a mix of the two, and we'll, and just see what the brown looks like by itself. Because depending on what it looks like, I'll either start with that. Or just just with the brown, I don't know. We'll see. I know a couple of layers looks doesn't look too bad, but I think it's too red. I think it needs to be a wee bit more just browny tones, not so much reedy tones. But I think maybe a little bit of the red, a little bit of the brown over top might look a little bit more woody too. It's hard to tell, you know. Sometimes some of the colours in the wood. Now you get that little bit of hint and a little bit of red and brown together. So, I don't know, we'll, we'll just, we'll play with it, you know, until we get a, a mix that we're happy with, and then I can start replicating it on this other stuff, because I'm sending them back down too with some, with some wet and dry. So I'll get that done, and then, yeah, we'll have a play with this again. Righty, so that took all of about less than a minute to freaking clean off. So with the just wear, a wee bit of wet and dry, it come off pretty easy. So it's no biggie if you do happen to put it on there and you don't like it, it comes off really easy. As long as you use some water based obviously. Just a wet bit of soapy water and and some 600 or whatever you got handy. Um, obviously it's fine-ish. Uh, even 400 would probably be alright. But you know, just give it a quick wet sand and uh, yeah, come off so easy. So. It's no, no major dramas there, but I'll just I'll paint the red on a little bit again and um, just do one part of it, just a small, like a shortish end of it, and then we'll try the brown, and we'll try the brown over top. Righty. So, we found... Oh, I'm going to brush that here. Unfortunately, we didn't find the same brand. Um, because the local shop here didn't have um, many different colours in that brand, um, but they had a, a different one there, which is just still water based. So we've got some cedar brown and some just brown bean, whatever that is. <laughs> but that's quite a dark colour. That's more, I guess you'd call it a a mid brown, well that's quite a dark brown. So, I don't know. I guess we'll have a wee test play with these. Put a one of them on the end, I suppose, and I'm over it. I actually wish now I had a frickin', I'd made a longer test piece. <laughs> but I can always rub it off. When it's, I can always force dry it with the, um, what do you want to call it, heat gun and uh, get a bit of an idea and then see if I can rub it off and see if we like it and I can just keep taking photos and compare and I can throw them up on a video anyway so so we might try might try a little bit of dark for start off It's too brown. I think it's just too dark. It might be right for um, if you could just touch a little bit on a brush, maybe just brush. Just if you draw it sort of almost dry brushed it across. If you know what I mean. Maybe once you've got the sort of colours and if you've got it dry, just maybe just 
dry brush it across the top, if you know what I mean. You just got a little bit of it on there. It might be alright, but it's too dark like that, I think. What I might do is I might clean that off. Yeah. I might clean this off and uh, go again with just that and that and then do a blend. I don't, I don't mind it, but you might just force dry it and just see and see. This is kind of what we're comparing it to there too. You know what I mean? I just think, I think that's too brown. I'm going to set this over on the car and it will force dry it. That might have been a little bit darker than it was yesterday too. The uh, red. I don't mind that, but it's, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's a hard one. Hard thing to work out, isn't it? That's what's over here. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Again, it's sort of growing on me. Now it's sort of dried out of it. Hmm. It's just, I think it's a matter of getting the... We'll try the other colour. We'll clean that off. I don't mind that. And even the, the combination of the two is alright. But I think maybe just a little, if you get it on there a little bit lighter, and that on a little bit lighter, it might be right too, if you know what I mean. Just a slightly lighter blend. But we'll try the cedar, I think, first. But I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Now, it kind of looks funny there, just sitting on the paper, but when you actually sit on the car, it does look a little bit different. So uh, yeah, I might just go sit up in the car, take a couple of photos, and uh, and then we'll clean it back and we'll have another play. Righty, so <laughs> that's actually it might be too light. Um, it's similar to this, but not as red. Um, so because I've got a little bit of a blend here. Um, dry brush it a bit more. I think I'm going to force dry this and I'm just going to get a little bit of that, paint it out on a thing and then I'm just going to brush it out over the tool and just see what it looks like. I think a combination of one of these together will work. So I'm force dry this a little bit. It's not too bad, is it? When it browns off. At least it's more brownie. Um, I'm just give it a wee dab on the end of this. Brush. Brush it out. It's too, it's 
skin wasn't dry enough. <laughs> Look Sit on the car and have a look at it. Alrighty, I think I actually prefer this kind of look for the best. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean this all off completely. Um, I've taken photos. I'm going to see if I can try and replicate this. So this was more, I think, that. A little bit of that over top. Um, so we'll see. And I think it, when I put that over top, it sort of dragged some of that off so it exposed that under colour you know what I mean so I think that just a combination of those two might be the best path put that on sort of force dry it a little bit and then as long as this isn't too hot and then put a little bit of that over top just rip almost dry brush it or put a little bit on and then dry brush it off I'll see if I can replicate that and have another look. But I, it looks quite good on the car. I quite like it. I don't think the video actually does it justice. Kinda. Kinda does. It looks a little it looks a little bit orangier on the uh, phone, or I think it's a it's a little more browny off, but I think that's too much. That's too red. That would be alright, but I think that's quite a good mix of the, the main colour that's underneath and the, the chocolatey brown and the, the cedar colour. I think that works quite good. We'll see. I'm going to clean it right off and I'm going to do, I'm going to do all that colour and just see what it looks like as one piece, if you know what I mean. Righty, I think we're on a win. I'm going to go with it. I think this technique, or something very close to it, I think will work perfectly. I quite like... Sorry, I'm a bit close. I'll stand back a little bit. Just trying to stand up in the box. So, I think it blends really nice with the blue and the black. It looks natural. Doesn't scream at you. Um, it's got that nice browny tones. This is very difficult because it's had been painted over top, but... I think we're in that sort of range of colour what it was originally and I'll throw a photo of the a picture up of the car I've actually taken, I've morphed a picture of this and the car that's in Queenstown that's never been touched together and it looks a similar sort of thing if you know what I mean I'll try and get it better as we go over the back and all that sort of stuff but I think that there looks pretty nice I think, you know, that by itself is too much. I think it was too red yesterday. A couple of iterations we did this morning, you know, I think could have worked, but I think that's a nice blend with that light coat of that chocolate first, spread it out, dry it. Then the brown, the cedar brown over top, brush it out fairly thin and then dry it. And then just a dab on the dry brush of that bean brown whatever it is again and they just slowly drag it over top um, as it's sort of drying and then actually when it was almost dry I just lightly brushed over it again if you know what I mean just to try and bring that colour back through and I think it looks to be it looks shit hot I think and I think by the time you actually get some um, some satin clear over it it will really look like wood um, so I think that's where I'm going to go. So I've finished getting these prepped. Yeah, they're almost sanded back enough, but not quite. I'd like to just get a little bit more of that gloss off them. And then we will at least start putting the brown on them. 
and then I will slowly force to dry them. I'll, I'll do it gently because I don't want to screw this up. Um, just I'll slowly force dry it, let it sit for a wee bit, um, let the pack these cool down, um, and then we'll put a little bit of that over it, and then slowly force dry it again. I'll use a combination between that and the ear to try and keep it at a decent temp, but dry it and then cool it down. And then we'll come back with a little bit of the chocolate and we'll do a little bit of brush. We'll probably have to do each piece individually, but we'll kind of try to, we'll try to do them together, but individually as if, you know what I mean? But I think that's the one. I, I really like that. It suits the car. It really suits the car. I like it. Um, I, I, the red was too much and that's more more of a nice dark natural wood um, look and I, I think that's kind of what it would look like when it was new if you know what I mean um, this is we don't even know what the original colour of this was this was just a colour that we picked or that they picked and I think it's really smart and it suits that colour so we're going to go with that. So I'll give these a wee bit more of a prep. Um, get them, get everything where I'm happy. Get the shiny off, all the shiny off it, and then we will attack this. I think it's going to be quite a quite a job. But if it all turns out like that, I'm going to be absolutely freaking stoked. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. I think even a little touch of that red might in, in there might be quite nice too, but. It's, that works really well. It's got not that nice, you know. The to be honest, the um, that's so close to that. I think it works. It's a little more browny than that as it was red. I think just a combination of the two just work together. And then obviously the dry, the final dry brush to try and pull that the caramel color color out from underneath. And it just pops. It really does pop. So we'll get that done and I'll come back to you probably um, when I've sort of got one or two done and I'm getting a feel for it on, the, on a big piece, if you know what I mean. Because I will try and I might try and do the door pieces first or something like that and I'll leave the dash till last to once I've, I've really got a feel for how it works. Because that's going to be the most awkward piece because it's big. But I've, that's why I've got that bigger brush there to try and brush it out while I've got... A slightly wider brush and then a bigger brush. I probably even only use that slightly wider brush, I think, but at least it'll, um, I can give it a bit more effect. Whereas these will work quite well with those small brushes. That works quite nicely with those small brushes, those pieces. So, and then I've got, let's see, I've got that one there and that one there. So, I'll probably use that from a dry brush and probably, I don't know, we'll just have to brush it on and then spread it out or whatever those little puddles but I think it's going to work perfect. So yeah, that's those three done. Um, just that first colour. And it looked good. Like you could do it, leave it like that. But I think just that little bit of that cedar brown in it, that's a little bit ready, just brings that richness into it, doesn't it? Like you could quite easily leave it like that. But I think that just brings that slightly red richness in. 
without being reared, reared. You know what I mean? We probably could have just got away with that and used that, but I'm trying to use the same product, if you know what I mean. It's kind of why I haven't used that other one. I could have, but I think the combination of the two is just really, really nice. That's freaking sick. It looks absolutely epic. And I think by the time I've gone over it with that and then just do a little bit of dry brush, damp dry brushing with that chocolate back over the top again, it's going to freaking pull it in and it's going to look absolutely freaking epic. Man, I'm good. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm stoked. Absolutely stoked. At how these are coming out. Awesome. Right, let's got I've got those first four pieces done, the long bits. We'll do the next colour. So we've done the first base colour. So we'll try the next one now. Here of notes here just to see. I think it needs just that that very dry brush of the brown over top. It's good though. It's just it's brought that that little bit of richness back into it. But I think it does, it just needs a little bit of that dark brown, very almost not on the brush, but just just to knock over the top, just to bring a little bit more of that colour back through. And I think it'll be good. I think it'll be good. But I'm liking I'm liking what I'm seeing. Every time you pull the brush stroke across there, it just it brings more brings more to it. I think. As long as you're careful, you know, you're not going queer, but I'm liking it. I am liking it. Awesome. Looks nice and rich. God damn sexy that is. Loving it. Right. I'll finish the other three at this stage and then that'll give us a bit of time to just to cure. And we'll then probably after lunch, I'll see check the time after lunch we might just come back with that brown brownie over top, which would be give us enough time to dry so it won't drag off too much, if you know what I mean. But I like where we're at. It's looking shit hot. Alrighty guys, so I just got back from lunch. So we'll do this next step. And see how we get on. Get this brush a bit more dry.
Alrighty, I'm just trying to get into position where it's sort of see. Doesn't matter if you missed a little bit of the corner, I guess. So we'll get this one here done, and then we'll go back to those ones. Alrighty, let's do this dash. So I've got these two brushes here for when I've got the colour that I'm on. To try and, just so I get a bigger sweep instead of the little one, to try and pull this grain in a bit like that, if you know what I mean. I'm going to try and get that sort of effect in it. So this will be quite handy instead of mucking around with the little brushes. I think the little brushes would be fine to put it on with, but. Um, well, <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, I'll put on with a little brush and then I can play with the other brushes and we can get this effect going. If you see it up here too, if you can see that, yeah, you can just get it on there. Probably by the time I'm finished putting it on, it'll be starting to dry and then I can smear it out anyway Sorry, I'm just getting a little excited here. <laughs> that looks awesome, mate. By the time you get another couple of coats on that and then do the the uh, the light coat over top and blend it really in. <laughs> it's gonna look good. Right. Yeah. Oh, frick that looks good. A bit dark for these guys, isn't it? <laughs> Unfortunately. Anyway, I'll move you around here so if you can show you a little bit better. Now we've got the first coat on. Oh, get a bit of shot. I must have to turn it around so I've got a little knot behind me, don't I? I'll turn this table around so you can see it better. Yeah, that gives you a better idea. Not in the shadows. It looks shit hot. I think just the extra couple of layers will just blend it all in. But that looks really good. <laughs> I'm stoked. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Just to put it plainly, the afternoon hasn't been that good. It's been good, but it hasn't been that good. I'll put a little note up on the um, video when I'm done I don't want to talk about it at the moment but yeah it's been a it's a good day for this but not such a good day 
But I kind of knew it was coming. We'll just say that much. But it looks awesome. I thought I had the bloody camera on. I've just dried brushed the uh, last bits on these two. <laughs> I thought I had it on. Here I am waffling away from the south. I'll just bring that over here. Basically I'll just dip, put a little bit in the um, cap. Just put a little bit in the cap so I could just dab the brush in and then just knock it off and just drag it across basically just to blend. Probably not quite so bad on these little pieces but the longer pieces you know. Just to bring that other colour back up a little bit. Just brush it out. Even the grains out between the two lots of previous brushing, so it's just enough to to dampen, I guess, what's underneath and just even it out. Create a bit more natural grain, I guess you want to call it. Try to. I've done it with the big brush for start off now. I'm just, I'm just gonna go over. Just double. No, sir. Put a little bit on this brush and just make it up where you know what I mean? Where I've been. Do this, anybody can be honest. If you're going to be doing this sort of thing and you've got another piece off, off a car that's the same, maybe a spear that you're not going to use, paint the bastard anyway and use it as a, as a test piece. That's the biggest thing I can say to you. Then you can have a, as much of a play as you like and you're not worried about it. And if you are using the wood, wood stain. Um, water-based wood stain over top of your car paint or whatever you're putting underneath, um, it will wash off reasonably easy you know, with a, just a bit of soapy water in a, in a bucket like I've been doing and just a bit of 600 or something like that and just give it a, another light rub. Um, most of it comes off if you're not happy with what you're doing. You know, that's what I did with that. 
case piece. Look, I painted that probably two or three times, just with different colours. And then when I got to something where I thought was nice, like this, you know, after I finished playing, I did the whole thing to get a high overall feel for it. But I think this looks actually freaking shit hot. It's drying nicely. Alright, I'm going to clean my brushes and uh, leave it alone and get home for the day. Righty, well, I'll just turn that board over, put it all together to give you an idea all together. So I think that's pretty freaking smart. That took me all day to do that, basically. <laughs> With the tap with a wee bit of testing in the morning and then go through all the different layers, let it dry for a while, a wee bit of forced drying with the um, heat gun and uh, yeah, three layers. So that just to run over it again, that underneath, that on top, and then then just a light dry brush with that, just with the minimal amount in the brush just to help blend it all in and I think that looks pretty friggin epic especially for first time but basically it's just using your brain I think just to understand how wood works and grows you know try and make it look natural um, that's pretty much what I did I made it run with the flow of the natural thing and tried to pull it around on this, how it would actually might have been carved out if it was carved out of a hunk of wood, you know what I mean? Try to make it look like the way the wood, the grain would have run if it was being carved out, so. I think it's pretty awesome. Alrighty, thanks guys.